good to be back with you guys. I'm going to be drawing some anime, well, not anime, but manga characters, manga characters from my own manga. I'm going to kind of be drawing them to get used to their structures, their facial structures and stuff like that. So, I'm going to get started here, wait for everyone to kind of roll in here. Hey, what's up? What's up? This is kind of like a sporadic stream. I don't I actually don't have the name for this character, but I created them a little while ago. This oh wow, 49 people. That came in fast. What the heck? <laughs> what's up everyone? Good to see so many people jumped in so fast. Glad to see that. We have 57 people. Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? So this guy's supposed to have a stronger jaw. So I'm kind of mapping out where his cheekbones are. stronger jaw than that mm, maybe I should have wind out the face just a tad bit more give that jaw some room to it's got the nose there I want the mouth to be here roughly and hmm. I'll show you the sketch I'm basing it off of it's not basing it off I'm going off of my own design that I have off over to the right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the chat here in a sec. Alright. See, this doesn't look exactly how I want it at all. This is why it's important to do these sketches to work out kinks and stuff in in the character and how you draw them and their ratios this mouth is definitely down too low for, for starters let's move it up just a tad bit here i feel like these eyes are also too close um hey what's up guys Someone asked me where I can, where uh, I got my studies to get to where I am now. Well, I would say I pretty much just looked at manga and Pinterest, really. I just, yeah, looked at manga and Pinterest. Because Pinterest, you can find a lot of realistic stuff if you need it. You can find a lot of anime stuff if you need it. Manga is literally everywhere you you have a manga you can like study the whole manga and stuff like that so I'm not a big fan of this face right now so here I'll show you guys what the character looks like so I drew this a while ago 
this was my initial design for this character. And now you might be able to see why I'm saying I don't like the ratios I'm using on <laughs> this. So I think I should go generally with the wider bottom part of the chin too. See if that helps. I know I should map out roughly where I want the mouth to go. See if this works. And try to remember this ratio. Create a breakdown. And for animation animators, they actually have to have these like ratio breakdowns for the characters and and like little quick tip things on how to draw the eyes so that way it goes easier for the animators. They have like those little character sheets that they base it off of. And we have the face broken up into sections a lot of the time. Interesting. Still not getting exactly where I want. I might have to actually break this down into a, a skull structure if I want to get what I want on it. So this is kind of like from the side. I'm not going to do perfect ratio from the side. I'm thinking of his jaw being kind of like... Here's his cheekbone. We got this really strong jaw, that kind of, I guess you could think kind of like a Viking-esque. Now, see, with the, how low I drew that, these eyes, it makes the jaw seem much less prominent. So I was saying, may, I might have to start breaking it down like this, and then actually break it down like this, like this, cheekbone, this is based off the skull structure, the mouth's gonna be here. Still too young. I need to work on older faces, it looks like. Maybe I should exaggerate, see if it helps at all. Alright. He's supposed to have a beard, by the way. I never got around to drawing the full beard on this one over here. Supposed to come out a little bit on the side here. Mm. 
then he has two things on the bottom of his beard that hold his beard like that and like that. Still not old enough, but that's okay. Getting there. <laughs> Interesting. All right. All right, chat. Hmm. Someone asked if I caught up on One Piece yet. No, I have not caught up on One Piece. Hmm. Ah, oh, I like that question. Someone asked, how does drawing, how is... How does drawing realism, how is it helpful? You don't have to draw realism to be good at drawing anime, obviously, but learning a certain amount of realism can help how you understand anime stuff, since anime stuff is based off of realism. Because they're drawing humans, and humans are realism. So you end up learning a little bit more in depth about stuff like muscles and instead of just general shapes. But even someone like Jim Lee said like he didn't memorize like all the muscles. He memorized these shapes and then he ended up doing some studying in the muscles in order to learn like some basics about muscles, which is very good to know. You don't I don't know the names of like all the chest muscles, but I did re research into how to draw them and how they sit on the chest and where they sit, like, close to the collarbone, stuff like that, and, you know, looked at anatomy, just so that way I could draw it more accurately, but not, I mean, obviously I don't know perfectly, but, like I said, I don't even know the names of most of this stuff. My shoulders should be more broad. His definitely his shoulders definitely aren't broad enough, I have to say that much. Hmm. It's alright. This one does not look remotely close to what I would want. happens if in general I just get away from this <laughs> erase that wimpy little jaw I put on there hmm hmm 
Interesting. Supposed to have thicker, more burly eyebrows. 87 people in here, 88 people in here. Mm -mm. By the way, I got a new video coming out soon. Uh, I'm looking to have it out tomorrow, which will be fun. Kind of a different video like I've been talking about. Ah, I guess it's not that different. Ah, it's different than most of the videos I've been doing recently on my main channel, so. This definitely isn't uh, what I was imagining here. Okay, let's just. Now that I actually got... The actual jaw covered up. This does look a little bit more, more what I was trying to go for, um, which means I drew the jaw quite wrong. Hmm. We win some, we lose some, which means I need to practice some different facial structures. Now this one doesn't look too bad now that I've. Thickened out the neck here. I've gotten rid of that jaw that was bothering me so much. Which means if I got rid of the jaw and it made it feel a little bit better to me, that means I drew the jaw wrong. I, I made it. I didn't make it strong enough, as strong as I would have liked it. So I need to kind of find the issue with what I was doing there. Okay, okay. Make sure it's broad. Remember, Chris, broad. Cool zone. Rod Cousin, right. Oh, sorry about that. All right, well. It's pretty decent, all right. That's not too shabby, not too shabby. It's supposed to be his neck, come down. I'm going to erase some of this sketchy stuff here and do that. There are pieces of the shirt. Oh, oops. Sorry. These are pieces of the shirt that I'm doing there. Hmm. All right. So let me try to restructure this face real quick. So I'm going to have eyes here, eye here, and then we're going to have the nose land about there, mouth land about there. Let's do some eye sockets. And I'm going to go much stronger on the jaw here. So the mouth is going to land right around here. All right, all right, that is a much stronger jaw. Feeling the eyes might be too a little bit too far apart. We'll find out here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, I see someone says it would be on webtoons. Oh, Bounty's Gate is not on webtoons. No, it's not on webtoons yet. Um, so basically. I will be making, so when I actually finish the first chapter of Bounty's Gate, it will be going up for free. You guys will know when it goes up for free for sure, like 
I'm going to be putting it on my Instagram. I'll say it in some of my videos. I'll say it in some of my streams where you can read it. Uh, right now, I do plan on putting it on Webtoons. Um, I'm deciding on what kind of format I want to put it on Webtoons in. If it's going to look like a manga page or if it's going to be Webtoons format. Still thinking about that. So it's something I'm contemplating. But but yeah, it is going to be on Webtoons. Oh, I need to situate my legs. So this facial structure is a little bit better. It is definitely a little bit better than the other one. I like this one a lot better than what this one was looking at. Like... So, relative to the mouth, jawline is very close to the mouth. We widen this part down here. This face is also a little bit lopsided. And I still feel like the jaw could still be a tad bit stronger for what I'm trying to go for, but this is definitely, definitely closer. Interesting. I keep on saying interesting because this is how I problem solve stuff <laughs> in order to figure out what I need. But yeah, it'll probably be on, it will be on webtoons unless something else changes. Interesting. I'm going to have thick eyebrows. Maybe a little curl on the end. I haven't decided that yet. And there's one really big side. Hair here. Side bang. Side hair. He has one big side hair, Kuzo says. <laughs> Made him look too sad with the eyebrows. Yeah, that's much closer. Not perfect, but much closer. Um, I think the things that are making this one fall apart a little bit more than I would like is the eyes and the eyebrows. Uh, they're not as intense. They're a little bit um, too soft, which is okay. I made them a little bit more intense just now, but not as much. The eyes are supposed to be kind of like, mm, I thought about kind of like this. But some of the ones I drew are kind of like this. Which I might be going towards this one a little bit more. Like, well, what's the difference? Kind of a little different. This one tends to be a more intense eye when you draw that. When you do this, it can be more open. Be a little bit more open. As like more open person. Of course, it, then if you do something like this... You know, starts looking a lot more open if you look at it. I mean, they look kind of upset because of the way their eyes, the way I put the eye there, but if you bring the eye down like this, they look pretty open. Like an open person, they're open to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, what else for else to do? Let me see. Move it up this way, maybe. Mm. 
Kind of somewhat replicating the one that I already drew back when I first created the character. It's supposed to be a character that's more so like this. It's supposed to be much more happy. That's well, funny. I've noticed that in anime, this is... In anime, we show the bottom teeth when people are smiling. But when you actually smile in real life, most people's bottom teeth don't show. <laughs> Just kind of funny when you think about it. You're like, wait a second. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I know him. I like how this one's turning out so far. Oh, get some of that music. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna look at the chat. Mm -mm. Just looking at chat, guys. So those of you who popped in, we got 83 people in here. I see a lot of people saying you're such a good artist and this other stuff. Thank you very much, everybody. But that's up a little bit too much. not like the way I do that nostril. I feel like I should put a back part to the nostril. When I say back part, I mean that little part I put oh, over here. But maybe not. Maybe I can just stick with this. Hmm. I want the nose to be a little bit stronger than that, though. With a strong nose, Kuzo. <laughs> yeah, a strong nose has good a good six-pack, all right?
I know this isn't our normal, like, teenage boy that I draw. But, that'd be fun. And I needed to do it. <laughs> you guys are probably not going to see him for a second in the manga. Well, that's if I... Unless I got it out really fast. Each chapter. But the way I'm probably going to go with my manga is the first uh, chapter is like 48 pages, something like that. And then after that, I'm probably going to go to 19 pages per chapter. Oh, oh my legs. Oh, my legs. But just letting you guys know, this stream's going to be a little shorter than my normal ones. Probably going to go for about 45 minutes, roughly. So I gotta go ahead and work on the video for tomorrow. Mm. Mm -mm. I know I'm getting into like the eyes over there, but I'm starting to like the direction this is going, getting better as we go. For those of you who've been around since I started this, <laughs> when we first started the stream, I really didn't like how this first one started turning out, and now we actually got that good, we got this good, just get to troubleshoot. Though I don't really like the nose on this one, to be honest, but that's okay, that's okay. Uh, now that I drew him a bunch here, I might go ahead and draw something else, just random. Hmm. Draw something random. Shoot, that's kind of out of the way. As you can see, I'm trying to draw someone pointing their finger at you like a finger gun. Didn't really think about it too much. All I know is that sometimes when I go draw this, it looks good. Sometimes when I go draw it, it looks horrible. So I wanted to try drawing it, taking the chance of it looking horrible live on stream. <laughs> Why not? Where do you get anywhere in life without a little bit of risk? Nowhere, I tell you, nowhere! <laughs> hmm. Of course I could keep going with that and it would look okay. I'm thinking. When someone does a finger gun, you typically want it to have that, like, I'm wondering if I want the finger to be pointing, the hand to be pointing up. Yeah, let's do that. I could always go look at Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho. Dude's always pointing his finger at people. <laughs> So 
So I'm not taking a reference from this hand. I'm just trying to remember how to like do something like this. Like I, just, I could draw a hand like this, but can I draw a hand that looks really cool like this without doing some studies first? I haven't drawn a hand like this in a while. I feel like. Like, for example, hands like this. Hands doing stuff like this. I'm really, I'm, I'm good at drawing hands doing stuff like that. And, and quite a few other things, but it's because I practiced these things before. And now I am better at them. And I know how to draw them much better. Which means you just got to practice something, do it over and over again, and learn it. Bam. This one is not playing nice. I've done it a few times before and it turned out okay. See, like, it's passable right now, but it's not up to what I would like it to be. Music. Ew, I don't want, like this hand, but it's something we might have to live with and do better next time. This arm's roughly going to cover up that part and the shoulder. Yeah, it's okay. Like, eh, it's passable. make this eye squinting. You win some, you lose some. And I'm about to take this hand. And break it the heck down right now. Myself kind of moving around. So this is the finger. Put the thumb over here. One finger, four, three finger. Moved it into a different perspective. So what I was having a hard time with was the foreshortening of it when it's that small. And I mean, it doesn't look bad. Like I said, it looks passable. And I'd have to clean it up if I was going to put in a manga or something. But I didn't want it to overtake me. Be like, man, it looks so bad.
92 people here. Cool, cool. As you guys can see, I'm just breaking this down for myself. If any of you are being, like, like how I just broke it down like this, try to figure out the foreshortening. If you don't know how to draw them from these angles, or you don't know the process to try to, like, the knowledge of, like, perspective and shapes and stuff, you're not going to be able to just do this to move it around to try to figure out the foreshortening. This is me trying to, like, 3D map it in my mind to try to figure out how to draw it like that better. But, yeah. Because I've already drawn hands in these similar positions, but... We almost got this whole page filled, and we're at 41 minutes, so we're close to being over. Um, let's look down here. In the comment section, yo, what's up, guys? What's up? There's a really vague kind of question, like, uh, Pedro Flores asks, how far did you have to go to get to where you are for being a manga artist? I mean, that's pretty much just, like, the whole process. That was me starting to draw and then learning to draw and then becoming as good as I am now, so pretty much my whole life. So, I mean, at least, you know, 20 years of my life spent doing that uh 20 25 years you know it, it it's a process basically you just gotta try to get as good as you can you gotta learn the fundamentals you gotta practice everything you can um i'm not saying overwhelm yourself that's that's a problem in itself uh you want to intensely practice and dismantle <laughs> pretty much break down um smaller things in bite-sized chunks to get what you want if you really want to succeed if you just try to take on the whole human anatomy and you're seeing they're drawing the full human figure trying to do all the details you're not going to learn as much from doing that compared to if you took just the arm or if you took yeah like if you took just this part of the arm which is the shoulder muscle and this muscle and practice that in different angles you get much further than drawing a whole body that are in these different angles with this arm you're, it's just a matter of fact like because you're doing it when you're doing a full body there's a lot of moving elements there and it can get very overwhelming <laughs> very fast so um one of the hardest things in drawing is to not overwhelm yourself when you have a lot you need to do like for example uh for me there's some overwhelming points when I was trying to get some deadlines done. And I found that it helped me to not think about the whole chapter rather than one page at a time. And when I had a big page ahead of me with a big background, it was important for me to basically then take it one panel at a time. So that's, that's my advice for practicing how I got here. Did the same thing everyone else did. Practice. Broke things down. Learned perspective. Learned anatomy. Drew what I liked also on the side of me doing the hustle and having to, you know, you have to do the hard stuff as well if you want to get better. But you also want to balance it with drawing stuff you like between or else you'll end up just kind of hating drawing. You, you'll kind of ruin it for yourself. <laughs> Which there are some points in time where I felt like that. I felt like I ruined it for myself because I pushed myself so hard. But, you know, it's all the name of the game if you want to become good. That's why they a lot of the time they say hard work outbeats talent. Because if you're talented at some time, something, sometimes you may lack the motivation to want to do better. And then you may lack the motivation to even do it. 
if you see someone who's better than you because you've never had a struggle with it so you end up hitting a wall so it's really interesting for those natural artists too some of them are natural and actually just make it all the way through some of them are natural and actually hit a wall i've actually i've seen this first person so that's why i'm mentioning that but not all of them Decent. It's and see, this looks much better than what I was first doing with my first sketches of this guy. So, pretty happy with that. Though one critique I have for myself on this is I didn't lower the chin as much as I would have liked. So let's lower that now. Pull this out a little bit. Pull that out a little bit. Yep. And. I like that a little bit more, a little bit more strong. There we go. But um, yeah, we're at about 46 minutes here. Um, so probably gonna be getting going here. Um, and, hey, what am I gonna do for Christmas? Probably just gonna chill around, open some presents, draw have some fun <laughs> that's pretty much all really so but in any case happy holidays to everyone and uh yeah uh, oh rogue artist just came in don't worry it's gonna be going up live so uh good to see you though man anyways guys good to be here i'm glad everyone came and uh had fun drawing this stuff hope you got hopefully you guys had fun too and for those of you who aren't here live glad to see you're still in the video and i'll in any case good to be here hope everyone has a great day subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out